talking that shit and we catch you slipping Smoking so much it just got me tripping In a different dimension cause I'm seeing all these demons around me So quiet but they screaming so loudly trying to stand tall But they got me weak I can't sleep Can't see myself in a dream I can't lean back Chill all these demons popping on my pills Sometimes I don't feel real so What's going on guys? I'm Buddha and it's Zenon so we're back with another reaction man yep. Today we're here with King Lil G and this is called Hopeless Void featuring David Ortiz. If you guys will enjoy this one, as always, drop a like. Click that subscribe button, man, if you're new to the channel. Also, comment down below, let us know which you guys want to react to next. Without further ado, let's get right into this. And first of all, right, actually, right before we get right into this, I mean, who hasn't heard of King Lil G, you know what I'm saying? We've heard the, we heard this song before, but it, we heard this song a long mm -hmm. time ago. Long, long time ago, long. man. And time ago. All I know is that, like, I could for sure relate to the song to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. Let's get it. King Lil I haven't heard this. Haven't heard this in a while. But I say I haven't even seen a music video in a long time, yeah. too, bro. Why does it look like it's high quality? What the fuck? No, yeah, dude. Like it's crazy, huh? Yo. Like it actually looks yeah. See, like, I could relate uh to a certain like I said to a certain extent. I mean no, I'm not a gang member or anything. Yeah. Mm -mm. But I could just relate on seeing a lot of that stuff as well to like where yeah. we were raised, you know, there was a lot of violence as well to the point where like where we were living at, it was like one of the most dangerous like dangerous places to stay at. Like yeah. literally it was in the map of I think it was like the whole world where it was like one of the most dangerous places like on earth. Where I was like fucking it was like insane. I just remember yeah. every time hearing a, a new person dying every day. And not only that, but seeing kids of my age, like, I remember, I remember, dude, dude, all I'm gonna say is that I remember seeing motherfuckers bring guns to school and shit, and yeah. not only that, but just seeing a lot of, uh, not, a lot of shit like that, Like, you know in the elementary bro, some kid bought, was it, I think it was cocaine, and then in, like, uh, and then we moved. Yeah. And then some kids were doing crack, and like, yeah, hold exactly, on, bro. bro. It's like... It's like, it's, it's insane, you yeah. know what I'm saying? The shit that you see, especially growing up in certain places like that, bro. It's, it's, it's fucking crazy, man. And, and then sometimes it's like people that you've seen before. Mm. Like, you might have not known them, but you've seen them around. Yeah. And you're like, damn, that dude got killed for some dumb stuff. You know mm. what I'm saying? And it's like, it's crazy. And that's the one thing, you know what I'm saying, for like a Mexican boy, like growing up, you know, not having much, mm. like you don't want to disappoint your parents, you know what I'm mm. saying? Especially your mom. Yeah, mom it's yeah. like you want to be the best you can be for them, you know what I'm saying? And like, like, of course, we're always going to mess up. Like, we're all going to mess up and shit. But, like, you know, messing up and seeing them see you mess up, it's like, yeah. fuck, you know what I'm saying? But, hey... We just gotta learn from our mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Weeks and she still ignores me. I'm fucking up so much as hate that is building towards me. She's on the phone with my fam saying I'm disappointing. Saying I'm disappointing. Oh, man, I'm a disappointment. As I sit all along with pain. Uh, I, don't, I, I like dude, his part. I was about to say, dude, this go hard, bro. Am I ever gonna see that day? And you know, like, I'm grateful. I ain't gonna lie. Sorry for pausing too much. I'm grateful. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I had a lot of, like, old homies that I used to talk to. And of course, now, you know. They're, they're in gangs and stuff. I'm just grateful that, like, my mindset was so different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sure, like, a lot of the, sometimes, you know, some people don't really have a choice. You know, they get, family. like, dragged into a family or stuff like that. Or they grow into it, like, you know what I'm saying? So that's the thing they know. Yeah. But, like, for me and my and our family, uh, like, our number one <laughs> focus was always just to, like, work. You know what I'm saying? 
it was never anything else like it was always i mean our parents had us working like around 11 years old already you know what i'm saying working in the fields doing this and that doing all the like chores going to places to go work you know so that was our main focus you know and like like we like kind of ignored a lot of other yeah. outside you know we kind of focused more on just focusing on ourselves and working and stuff but yeah man so troublesome that eviction notice on my door made me hustle drugs i see my mother crying 1999 my father left us behind my feelings empty inside i try to not miss up me get my older sister karina please tell them about that fucked up christmas i had to go to school lying to my friends pretending i was happy about some shit i didn't get fake smiles through the whole winter i was cold wearing old clothes and on some real shit bro <clears throat> like like shout out to our parents you know what i'm saying because like they they did what they could, you know, mm. to bring us like even if it was a plastic toy, bro. Like I just remember always being grateful for whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? Literally, bro. I remember me and my older brother would just like play with, if you guys know, like the little soldaditos and shit. Oh yeah. Like yeah, literally yeah. a bag of just soldiers and shit, bro. With that, bro, yeah. that's all we needed, bro. And that's the shit that we would have fun with, bro. Oh, we should get Fucking marbles, bro. A five dollar bag of marbles. Uh, a pack of Pokemon or something, you mm. know, just something, whatever it is, dude. It was, it didn't. We didn't need much. Even to if we didn't know how to play the game, like Pokemon or like Yu-Gi-Oh. Hell yeah, bro! On some real shit, bro. I remember <laughs> back then, like, like this. Uh, this has yeah. twenty. Look, mine has a hundred and eighty HP, so it must be stronger than you. You know. And yeah. we didn't use like the the cards to use the powers. You know. Like, exactly. Yeah, we didn't even fucking. Like yeah. the energy. Yeah, the energy and all that. Yeah, we never fucking used yeah, that. Yeah, we just throw away. Yeah. Holes in them, gang members. I was close with them. I was just a kid. They was asking me to do some coke with them. I was broke, man. I'd rather sell some dope with them. Road trips to the border to go get them. Young and hopeless, trying to get into showbiz, hoping they would give me a chance. Nobody noticed. As I sit all alone with pain, I wonder. I owe them some. You know, I hear people talking all the time. But, but it's like they don't know the struggle and the shit we gotta go through to get to where we are right now. Real shit, man. I had to sacrifice so much time, you know? Real shit, bro. I my family through so much pain. Like, people are not gonna know the shit that you went through. People are always just gonna judge first and they're always yeah. gonna, like, they're always just gonna talk about what they see, but they don't know a lot of the behind shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much, there's so much shit, man, you know what I'm saying? We're all struggling yeah. in this world, you know, if it's not physically, mentally, and just every other way, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't really, you can't really see a rich person and be like, he has, he's, he has, he's, like, he has everything, yeah. he's happy as fuck, or like this and that, now you never, never know. know, he's yeah. fucking battling with depression or loneliness, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there's a lot of shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? We all have our battles. Even if, even if they're different, you know? Mm. So, yeah, man. And one's not worse than the other. Exactly. Oh, yeah. It's like everything that I got right now, I owe it to the family. <laughs> Shit, my, my that's what's up, bro. Now. That's the goal, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Shout out King Lil G, bro. Real shit, oh, yeah. these songs, like, I remember going up here in these and, like, they really they inspire you a lot, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like knowing that someone from like someone that came from like similar, you know, um places like you. Yeah. Like they they came up and did it. That just makes you think like, hey, if he did it, I could I do it too, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like on some real shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, all y'all got to know is that I still remember those days, you know, sit, like in a one bedroom house cockroaches everywhere in the bathroom there'll be possums and shit <laughs> bro a lot of fucking shit dude, bro I don't like know that shit. <laughs> dude i remember waking up in the middle of the night my fucking dad and my mom just fighting a possum yeah, trying dude. to kill that shit bro dude, remember that the big size of those motherfuckers dude. dude there was the size of a fucking dog bro literally, <laughs> literally. Dude. there'll be like probably every night a new one and shit bro mm -hmm. and i remember that shit and 
I mean, fuck. That's that's the way we, you know what I'm saying? Life chose us to be, but look at us now. We worked hard and we're in a whole different place now. Shit, mm. shit we got three thousand subs, bro. Yeah, hey, dude, yo, that's shout great. out to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Four thousand hey. next. Help yes, us out by clicking that sub. But yeah, other than that, man, if y'all didn't enjoy us, always drop a like. Click that subscribe button, man, if you're the new. Shout out King Lil G. Definitely recommend more of his songs. Hell yeah. Any old songs that you guys want us to react to, we're trying to go back to memory lane. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? So let us know what other OG songs y'all want us to react to down in the comments. If y'all didn't enjoy, drop a like. Subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace out.